Good morning, good morning. So today we have a pretty cool opportunity to shed hunt in northern Utah on Antelope Island. So every year they only give out two tags for mule deer on the island. One's a governor's tag which goes for upwards of a quarter million and the other is just a draw tag. So there's Antelope Island is just known for these giant giant deer mostly because they don't don't take very many off it's an island they don't go anywhere we know that they're on on the island so it's in the middle of the great salt lake and they have buffalo out here all kinds of different animals but their their mule deer are just world record size so every year they do a shed hunt and you have to put in for the draw and they take 50 people monday and tuesday one for the east side and then one for the west side so i drew this year in 2020 i drew um, the west side so it's Tuesday and right now you can kind of see we are there's a bunch of guys behind us and a bunch of guys in front of us but we're waiting it's 8.09 open to 8 we're waiting we go up you pay 60 bucks if you draw and then they let you on the island all day they give you a little tag that you put on your backpack or something know you're out shed hunting and you have until sundown to pick up as many sheds as you can so I'm pretty excited I've heard about it a lot but I've never put in it's my first year putting in and I drew it a bunch of my buddies didn't get it so I'm feeling pretty lucky today anyways we will we'll keep you updated and see if we can pick up some brownies that'd be cool how are you good how are you good good tell me your name Jared Wardle Jared there you are you're gonna be 167 Jared all right just pin that somewhere we can see it Okay. So we're not calling my backpack or something. Hill. Yeah, on the back of your pack is great. And then um, my email said bison skulls come back out here. Just take them into the office if you want to purchase one. Okay. If you see it, you don't have to pick it up. But if you see it and you want it, drag it in the office. We'll get it to you today. Sounds good. Okay. Just line at the bottom anywhere. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. basically have miles and miles of terrain to walk. I mean, there's 50, 50 people grew it, so there's going to be some competition, but hopefully we can find some, find some sheds out here. I'm excited. All right, so I rode my mountain bike out about two miles. And I just ditched it in the sage, so we're going to start gridding this thing. I'm on, we got tons of country. This island's huge. There's a lot of deer, so... Hopefully we can luck into some and get some brownies. We'll see. Guys, I've hiked like crazy. Summited like three peaks and just gone nuts. It's going clear out here. And I haven't seen anything. I saw a deer, a stag that had one side on a big two point, biggest two point I've ever seen. And its bases were, I probably couldn't fit my hand around them. They were so big. I watched him for a while. And I summited this last peak and it's been super steep. I came from that way. I think I just glassed up my first shed right over there. It looks white, but I'm I'll take any at this point. I've hiked my butt off for four hours to get here. So let's go see what it is. I just found something you don't find every day. It's the husk to a or the shell to a bighorn sheep. So they do have bighorn sheep out here. But I think it was last year they all got, I don't know if it was CWD or what they got, but they all were dying off. So the shed hunters last year were able to pick up the bighorn sheep skulls. And they, I know that Kuyu actually helped the Utah DWR this year release a bunch of new bighorn sheep out here. So try and get the population back up. That's pretty cool. Not something you find every day. And we'll keep working towards these sheds. They're clear over here and it's steep. Check it out, we got another bighorn sheep. This time the skull's attached. This, I might have found the, oh, there's the backbone to him. I might have found the sheath to this one. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, I bet I did find. No, he's both of them right there. There he is. That's cool. We'll take it. You don't find those every day, that's for sure. There's the one. You can see how big it is on there. This is the one that's laying right next to it. But it's way, quite a bit smaller. I get a good angle on him. There you go. So you can see this one right there is a lot smaller. But the one I found clear over there matches up just about right. That might be him. That's wild. It's three of them. How cool. All right, here's that shed that I glassed up. It's actually a deadhead. That would have been one wide sucker. Wow. Too bad it's so old and chalky. Yeah, we're gonna leave that one here. It's cool though. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at those tanks. Holy crap. I have never seen them fall that close together. That's crazy. Check these out. Oh, it's got a cheater too. This is why you come to the island. Holy, those are ridiculous. That right there is the reason why. I've hiked, I think, eight miles up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, looking for something. Haven't found anything but those sheep horn sheets and that old deadhead holy it's barely cracked that thing <laughs> it's i don't know if it's 200 i bet it's 190. check out the blading on these this back oh my gosh that's massive still got some velvet on there for some reason i don't know if it i don't think it was a stag kicker on there that's insane oh it makes it all worth it I've hiked my butt off today to find something like this yes oh yes